Hey everybody, Better Mix Master here. I'm going to show you a tutorial how to convert mic spam for Half-Life DJ. Some people would say this is outdated because the new Kodak makes Half-Life DJ impossible. But some people can't use the new way and some servers still support old Half-Life DJ spam. I'll show you how to convert them using both ways. Using both Audacity and Gold Wave. Okay, there's two ways to do it and that's for different reasons. Audacity is very quick and easy to edit things, but the quality output is a lot lower. Now Gold Wave, Gold Wave takes a long time, but the quality is a lot better and it's great for music. So if you're going to just spam small clips, use Audacity. If you want a music file, use Gold Wave. I'm going to show you how to use both. I have two songs over here that I'm going to convert, but I also want a sound file. I'm going to show you this little trick I know. See this button right here? You usually don't have that. That's because there's a website called youtube-mp3.com. Link will be in the description. They have this add-on for Firefox. When you click it, you can download the the um, MP3 for any other for any video except for right now, where they conveniently are using a maintenance for their servers. That's convenient. Okay. But anyway, you normally just get a sound file, just a normal MP3 file. That's exactly the same in the video. So you know what? I'm just gonna go file dive in and find a s sound effect for you really quickly look at this one I this one is a also an original sound file I'll use the same way I did it in an earlier take that failed but I'll do it again okay this is just another scrubs one if it still work now I'm gonna start with audacity with with th this is the setting for just voice files. You can also do music in here, but it's going to be a lot lower quality. Just, it's really good, only good for editing voice clips. Here's the voice clip by itself. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're it cuts off a little bit there anyway. Anyway, to edit this, really simple using the new ki new form of Audacity. It's the beta thing. Split stereo to mono. X out the bottom one. Set sample rate to 24 bit. Project rate needs to go to 11025. That's all you really have to do. Now, if you're going to do music in this way, and it has a lot of bass, there's this one um, effect called equalization. This lets you lower the overall volume, lower or increase the overall volume. If you had, if the if the uh, sound file has a lot of bass you want it to decrease by like three but that's only if it's really loud I'm not doing it in this but that's just there in case you need it to do this export export to your mic spam folder export as a WAV file and make sure the name of the file is shorter for the sake of half of these things and once again I did this earlier so I'm just gonna overwrite it and if you get this box, always clear out extra tags. This having extra tags like messes up Half-Life DJ's uh, playing system, and it will just cause your thing to not play. So always get rid of the extra tags. And that's using Audacity. Click now. Now I'm going to use Gold Wave. This is the setting for music. The program you should use for music. This loads up. Click OK. This one you can't drag to, but you can open them. Go to desktop. Let's see here. I'm going to open up this one. I don't even know why I uploaded this one. <laughs> this song I just kind of found on YouTube. It's kind of strange, but it's Mike's band material. And a lot of bass. It was the first day back to school, cutting up a class, acting like. Okay. First thing you need to do. Click this thing that looks like an M, a rainbow line, and then an equal, and then a infinity sign. It's called band pass stop. All you gotta do is change the top one, 200. Bottom one, 10,000. Click OK, and let that go. This time takes different times based on how good your computer is. Mine's actually kind of good, so that goes a little fast. Might be slow for you, might be faster. And then click resample. Looks like an HZ with a green line underneath. Change that to 11025. Okay. Next you want equalizer. This is the real difference between each song. 
Equalizer settings are different based on the kind of music you are you're using. Um, there's a lot of presets people make that uh, fit kinds of music, but what I found is the techno preset works good with everything for the most part. And that is negative three, negative two, zero, negative two, negative one, zero, zero. That gives the best out output for me from what I found out. If you have a different preset, you, it's just a combination of those numbers, and they're usually just like negatives, only like about one through four for the most part. I'll put some presets that I already know in the description, but the one I'm using right now is the one that, use, that works pretty well for pretty much everything. Next, you need to match volume, which looks like a circle, and two blue bars underneath. You need to change this negative 18 to negative 19 and reduce average level to avoid clipping. That really lowers down all the bars on here. As a, um, a good tip, you want to keep the lines below 0.6. If it goes a little bit above 0.6, it's fine, but if the whole song's above it, you want to equalize it more. This should be good. Now, as listening to the song, pay attention to this UV meter over here, the color bar. You want this the lines to stay in yellow and try it to not avoid red. Day, back to school. That usually drowns out my voice, so I'm going to stop. pause that. You want to keep this in the green area, yellow, and orange. If it gets to the red, it's a little high, and you're going to hear static. When you're done with that, you're done with all the conversion part. Hit File, Save As. Save it to your mic spam folder. You want to save it as a WAV file, and save it as PCM signed 16-bit mono. Mono is important. You also want to make sure the name is shorter. Click yes on that and it just converts it to a mono track. Okay, you can just close this out when you're done. Now, open up Half Life DJ, play whatever game it is. I'm going to use Team Fortress 2 for this example, and I'm going to show you how to test out your mic spams. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, welcome to Team Fortress 2. First thing, you need the console enabled. So, if you don't have that enabled, go to Options, Advanced, Enable Developer's Console. You should have that enabled, because you need it to spam things. Next part is going to test out your mic spams. You can't just go to any random server to test out a mic spam. It's best to just make your own and test out there. So hit the plus icon next to start playing. Make a game, set all the times to zero. Open in any map you want, preferably a small one, so I choose Achievement Idol to test because it's extremely small. Uh, I'll be right back after this loads. Okay, now we're in game. My HUD was going to look different than yours because I'm using custom HUD. Just click up random class. First thing you want to do is go into console, type CV underscore use. Then just scroll down to the only option left. The full command is CV use Steam Voice. You want this to be zero, it defaults to one. This enables the OG Kodak. Which you need to do, which is needed to spam using half of DJ. Now type in la, la, just to get your menus up and go to your directory wherever you kept music. If your menu comes up like this, like it does for me all the time, just move it a little bit and it gets a nice list. This is also why I say keep the name small because it makes, messes up the line. Gesundheit. Now just type in the number of whatever you want. I'm gonna move my character over. Right. Type the number of whatever you want to spam. And hit your preset key. Mine's F12, which is all the default screenshot key, so you want to move that. So, let me just find where I put that blasted thing. Ninety-seven. It was the first day back to school. Up in class, acting like a tool. Friends are rolling in, we started talking about the summer. DJ saw Twilight. Bummer. I spoke up and I asked my friends, are there any new girls? Nines or tens? Hoping to view hotties and move from other cities. And then walk this girl with big old bitties. Woo! I can't believe my eyes. In a contest, they win first prize. Double D guarantee. I was checking the size. It's like two beach balls in a shirt disguise. For Earth and Mars, having some fun. Oh, wait, I take that back. It's like two of the sun. But at this point, I let my mind run and drift it off. Think about the Big old bitties. Big old bitties. Now Suji brought his twins. Big old bitties. Two melons in a shirt. Big old bitties. Yeah. 
I don't even know why I have that, but it's Mike's band material, so I'm keeping it. Uh, that is the song I converted. Uh, let me just find wherever I put that voice clip. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're Alright, there was the voice clip. That seemed to run well. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. If you hear static in your videos, that means you have too much bass, and you need to equalize it more. If it is in slow motion, that's a rendering error, and you just have to do it again. Okay? Any other questions, please talk about in the description, in the uh, comments. If you also have any more Gold Wave presets that work well for you, so I'll say that in the description, I'll credit them to you, and put them in my description. Anything else? That's Bittermix Master, signing off.